Hey, what's up everybody? Buddy Blackbird here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to use Enable Character 3D in your text options to make things like this here. So when you enable per character 3D you get another um, axis that you can work with and that is the Z axis and it gives you like um, a different kind of 3D going on where you don't really need a camera and everything which is pretty nice so I'm gonna get to showing you how to make something like that and let's start so I'm gonna delete out my text and I'm just gonna write something in uh, my text box here yeah I think there's a dash there so we've got our text here I'm just gonna scale it up a little Ooh, 3ds I'm gonna scale it up here so we can just see it a little better and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, add something that has a Z the Z axis on it so something like opacity won't work because there is no Z axis on it so I'm gonna try I'm gonna use position because that's the best way to demonstrate now if we look down here at the range selector we've got zero zero the left one is X down here and the one next to it is the Y axis so uh, you can see that and you know that from being able to move position from like the beginning of our tutorials here so we're gonna come up to animate again and click on enable per character 3d now you can see we've got the Z axis going on here to be able to uh, see this a little better I'm gonna be switching between the active camera and custom view one where custom view one has a dummy like a dummy uh, camera already set up for us I'm gonna go back to my selection tool and I'm just gonna scrub and you can see how I can move in the z-axis now which is this blue arrow so let's uh, open up our range selector here and if I move my uh, start nothing's gonna happen right now we have to set the position to be um, where we want it to start out from and then where it is right now is where the uh, position is going to end so let's do something like negative 400 because when you go in the negatives it comes towards the camera when you go in the positive it, it goes away from the camera so there's negative 400 there and then if you want it to like kind of like right on you're going to want to increase the height so I'll try negative 100 not exactly sure how high so let's go back to our active camera we can see that we gotta increase how high it goes so there we go and now if I move the start here it's going to right on there so all I have to do now is just animate my start from 0 to 100 and it should be it should just write on we got to do a ramp preview here real quick and uh, this is what we get so that was easy enough now if you really want to make it like fly in we can add some motion blur to it real quick uh, make sure this button right here is enabled which uh, enables motion blur for your layers and then click on this uh, column right here and that'll add some motion blur it'll look like your letters are like flying in like this so this is kinda like a, like a flying in or like a write on kinda something like a typewriter like smashing them down or something like that So. Well, that's how you use the enable per character 3d pretty much all it does is just add uh, uh, on the z-axis and I'll tell you which um, character or which uh, animators here we can use them for the anchor point position scale and rotation will all get a uh, third z-axis dimension so that means that um, blur, opacity, skew, um, the fill color, stuff like that. That that, that stuff isn't uh, affected when you enable per character 3D. So just remember, it is anchor point, position, scale, and rotation. 
So let's just add something like rotation in for fun. So I went up and add it, went up to animate, and I selected rotation, which is uh, here. And let's come into somewhere around the middle here. And let's mess with our rotation and see how it works out. See, so we can rotate our characters like that. And now they'll flip off the screen. Now they're like flying. So you could also animate this the other way. Let me uh, give you a ramp preview. See how they're like flying in? So you could do something where you animate this the other way and they fly off the screen. So maybe I put this at 100 now. And then at the end to zero. I think they'll fly off the screen. Check it out. Yep. So there you go. There's uh, a couple ways to use the Enable per character 3D and thanks for watching this tutorial. Thumbs up if you like, thumbs down if you didn't, and uh, subscribe if you want to check out more After Effects tutorials that are coming up. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, everybody.